For thousands of people in the UK, life on the ocean wave is the only life there is. We are, after all, an island. Together with the water, there's the wind. It's usually a winning combination. But for one bunch of guys, just the wind will do. They've replaced the water with wheels and the sea with an airfield in Cambridgeshire. But for them, yachting, or rather land yachting, is just as fast and just as thrilling. Combining the grace of sailing and the speed of motor racing, they can reach up to 60 miles an hour. The record, held by Bertrand Lambert, a Frenchman, is an incredible 95 miles an hour. Land yacht races start from a standing start and you all have to run and jump in. There's certain priority rules as to who has right of way and the secret is to get into clean air. After that we sail round a course and it's just up to you to make your best route round, obeying the primary rule which is give way to the right. And so long as you don't hit somebody, that's all you have to worry about. There are quite a few classes, but in Britain we sail two main classes. Class three are the largest yachts. They're very fast. The world speed record is 95 miles an hour. The smaller class, which is the sort of yacht I'm sitting in now, is class five, and these have a top speed of around 70. But you've got to have a lot of patience because we don't always get good wind. Uh, you've got to like speed and you've got to be brave. Um, and you need a little bit of the skills of fishing because sometimes playing this rope gently is more important than just pulling on it hard. Land yachting suits the British mentality because it's wonderfully eccentric. It, it's, it's daft, it's useless. Whoever thought of trying to sail somewhere on land? Mm -hmm. 